This next video is not literal. Please do not stomp on your computers. You've been warned. Okay, let's talk about stomp boxes. All right, so stomp boxes are different types of guitar effects that are actually originating from pedals. Um, they're physical pedals that people stomp, like guitarists, of course, stomp on with their feet to click them on or off. So it's a pedal switch. Um, now GarageBand models these types of pedals within the software. And let's take a look at that. Let's take a look at uh, a couple different ones. So with my setup right now, I have Overdrive on right now. And this is, GarageBand shows us like a look of an actual pedal. Like it looks like a physical pedal where you can actually adjust the knobs just by clicking and dragging them. Um, but let's take a Let's take a listen. So that's the overdrive. It kind of gives like a uh, distorted, uh, really, really amplified type of sound where it sounds a little grainy too. It's supposed to be mainly for like a rock type of sound. Um, and you can adjust these uh, accordingly and we'll get into more details about how to adjust them in future videos, but let's let's go through a couple more of them. I have the flanger right here as well. It is not turned on. Um, you can simply just either hit this guy right here, or you can actually click on like the physical switch that it would be at, as if you're stepping on it in real life. You click on it and that turns it on and off. So let's listen to the flanger plus the overdrive pedal. All right, and you can always add or take away as many of these stomp boxes by simply going to the edit button at the top right here. And that kind of hovers over and gives you a little place setting of where you want your pedal. And it gives you a little preview of what other pedals that GarageBand has. So, I mean, there, there's a ton of them here. There's Fuzz, there's Grinder. Um, and there's chorus. So let's do chorus since that's a different type of sound. And I'm going to turn these guys off just so we can single out the chorus. And I'm going to adjust that really quickly just so it's more drastic. That's kind of what a chorus does. So that's a basic overview of what the guitar stomp boxes do. So let's take a look at them individually now within the next few videos. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any requests, please send them to request at mahalo.com.